Right, today we, we're going to actually show you how you, what you do when you first start MoSync. Um, we're going to show you how to import the first example project because I, I, I know some people they don't really know where to start. Um, we've just downloaded our, 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 our first MoSync. Uh, it hasn't been touched yet. I've just run it and um, what I'm going to do first is to just to, just to import an example project. Okay. So we right click on the Project Explorer and we press import. Then we need to be careful that we want to select MoSync here and that we have old mobile project uh, selected because that's what we want to import. And then we click next. Now you see that it says projects here. We want to just browse and get to examples. Now you don't have to select anything here. Just, just click OK because we get a list. You can see this list and we want to just import 3D lines. Now let's click on do not copy. We do this because there are resources in our examples that are, that are shall we say, outside of these projects and they won't be copied. In most cases you can, you, you can copy things yourself as long as everything's self-contained. So now we want to so we've selected 3D lines uh, and we click on finish. There we are. So there's our project. I'll open it up. You can see all the different files there. In fact, if we look over at the uh, at the target window, we can see that we have the emulator selected. All we have to do now is just to execute. And it's building. There we are. So we have a, uh, a little working program there in the emulator. So I'll close that down. I, I want to just show you how quick this is. What I'm going to do is, is download this to a phone and show you it working directly. So we're going to select, uh, I have a Nokia N95 here. And I'm just going to select that device over here in Nokia. Uh, scroll down a bit. It's quite a long way down. And then we just, as the 8 GB, just right click on that, select as target phone. Now it's building for that specific device. Now what we can do is to go to our Bluetooth discovery button, search for my phone, searching. Now there's, there's something, it takes a little while to search for phones, but but you might say that once you've found a phone, it then remembers the phones you found previously. So you can, you can then reselect them really, really quickly. So SpongeBob, that's my device, and we'll say OK. Now it's just checking. I'll run that in the background. Should be finished in just a moment. Now you have to remember it's taking just a little bit longer because this is the, literally the first time that we run the, the product. OK. So now we should be able to just click on this send to the device button. Press the button. There we are. Now we want to go to where the applications are. <coughs> Select applications. Then we find uh, 3D lines and run it. There we are. An application running and downloaded in no time at all. So we're all done for this uh, for this little tutorial, shall we say? We'll be back soon with more.